And we hear this in, in the news in the world today still, uh, how AI could be the downfall of all humanity. And uh, I, I'm not gonna comment too much on it right now because then Ralph is gonna talk about, well, yes, but, uh, and here's, a, here's a, 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 a kind of like a, some additional thoughts on that. So let's take a look at what he has to say here first. I'm glad that we have arrived now at the field of science fiction and fantasy and that we can speak about uh, alternative futures, which is the true gist of science fiction and fantasy. And uh, this is one possible future, and I think it's a really paranoid one in which the alien is a, <laughs> a, a dangerous uh, enemy. Well, not necessarily. And Only I think that this uh, paranoid fantasy of yours uh, <laughs> actually was first put forward by John von Neumann in 1947 when he invented cellular, cellular automata en route to creating self-replicating machines. Now, his idea, like yours, was uh, 50 years ago that the machines will become a society and take over, and that's good but they won't be free of our meddling unless they can actually construct themselves. If they depend upon us to do the farming and nutrition and to replace their chips and stuff, then we will be able at any time to do a revolution and revolt. So we destroy them. In order to really succeed as a successive life form, they would have to be able to fix themselves. And so he set about trying to make self-replicating machines in 1947. So the World Wide Web and uh, megahertz CPUs notwithstanding, this is still rather an old story. 